The chair recognizes the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Clyde, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to highlight the troubling record of President Biden's U.S. Supreme Court nominee, Ketanji Brown Jackson, commonly known as KBJ. Throughout her legal career, Ketanji Brown Jackson has earned a disturbing record on crime. In advocating for and administering lighter sentences for sex offenders, particularly those preying on and sexually abusing innocent children, KBJ has set an unforgivable pattern that disqualifies her from the, our country's highest court. A prime example of this pattern can be found in the case of U.S. versus Hawkins, where the sentencing guidelines called for up to 10 years in prison for a man, an adult, convicted of possessing multiple images of child sex torture. Katanja Brown Jackson sentenced this predator to just three months in jail, unconscionable. Mr. Hawkins recently told the Washington Post, and I quote, I wasn't very happy that she gave me three months, although after reflection when I was in jail, I was hearing from other people who said it was their first time arrested and they got five years, six years, and he got three months. A cri as crime rates soar in our cities across the country, adding soft on crime justices especially a justice who basically ignores the crime of possessing and promoting images of severe child sexual assault. Adding a justice like that to the bench sends an alarming message to communities fearing for their safety. Additionally, during her confirmation hearing last week, KBJ refused to define what a woman is, excusing her absurdity by claiming she isn't a biologist. From women's sports to woke corporations like Disney, liberals are pushing an evil agenda that is erasing women and undermining women's accomplishments. As conservatives like myself fight this woke extremism, there will surely be cases considered in the future at the Supreme Court that require justices to understand and accept the differences between men and women. If KBJ can't define a woman, how is she to adjudicate Title IX cases? This is a legitimate question that no Democrat wants to answer. This, too, is disqualifying. While I do not serve in the body that decides this monumental confirmation, I do have a responsibility to tell the American people the truth. And the truth is, a vote to confirm Ketanji Brown Jackson is a vote for lenient sentences for child sexual torture, a vote for the left's woke war on canceling the achievements of real women, and a vote for the liberals' dangerous agenda. Americans, including Georgians, don't want a justice on the bench who supports any of this radical garbage. Georgians are watching Senators Warnock and Senator Ossoff. Will they vote for a Supreme Court nominee that is soft on crime? On one of the most heinous crimes of all, child sex torture, or will they stand up for all of Georgia's family values, protect our children, and be tough on crime by voting no on this Supreme Court nominee? For the sake of our great nation, the Senate must save the Supreme Court from a lifetime of votes siding with demented pedophiles by voting against Ketanja Brown Jackson's confirmation, by voting no on Ketanja Brown Jackson's confirmation.